An effort to further strengthen the agriculture sector and ensure that farmers receive the training needed to improve their business skills and boost productivity, St. Kitts and Nevis is looking to establish an agricultural training school. This was according to Minister of Agriculture, Honorable Samuel Duggins, during the Prime Minister's press conference with Cabinet Ministers on Thursday. I am in discussions for the development of an agricultural training school, and that will be on island with the support as well of the University of the West Indies um, where they will be assisting with training our uh, farmers, processors and interested persons in agriculture in both crop management, post harvest management and the wide range of agricultural input. Minister Duggins said that the school will be beneficial to St. Kitts and Nevis, especially as the Federation works towards reducing the region's large food import bill by 2025. I believe that training school will go a long way. And I believe that once we put all efforts together, we can see our country maybe even exceed in that 25 by 25 agenda. Because easily we've seen 80 plus percent and identify how we can curb that somewhat. And that does not include improving output from improving the input. So if we improve agricultural input by planting more food, our greenhouse project that we want to improve, that's additional to managing that 80% loss. And so I believe that the prospects for the 25 by 25 agenda is real. And we are working diligently again towards that. According to www.caricom.org, the implementation of the CARICOM Agri-Food System Strategy in its member states is expected to help achieve the 25 by 25 target by giving special attention to priority crops and products such as poultry, corn, soya, meat, goat, sheep, beef, rice and niche vegetables, which are highly imported products in the region.